What's up YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for tuning in today. Today's video is just going to be kind of off the cuff video. Last, the uh, last time I did this with the missus, you guys seemed to really enjoy it, so I thought I would do it again. And I kind of may, I'm thinking about making this a regular, if she's up to it, kind of doing an off the cuff video and kind of including her in some. But anyway, I was able to get a prime one brisket that was uh, grinding into some burger patties. That's what we're going to do today. Nothing big, nothing special, but I think you guys will enjoy it. So, uh, stick around. I think you guys will enjoy this. Let's get started. Beef brisket, steak burgers. These are Prime One uh, steak burgers. So what they did is they took in a, uh, a Prime One beef brisket and grinded it up into some ground beef. So that's what these are. So these are some really good, high quality burger patties the missus is gonna use the what are you gonna use it's incredible because she loves that shit and i'm gonna go with the uh on mine texas best brisket rub since it is brisket but this is the hot mm -hmm. as you can see texas best brisket rub hot i'm gonna go that on mine so we're gonna let the miss the missus get to cooking. She'll start prepping these. And um, we're gonna cook them inside because as you saw outside, or as you'll see outside, there's no cooking going on out there. So uh, she'll get these seasoned up and uh, we're gonna cook them on the cast iron skillet. You see, this is what I'm talking about. We're having the deck rebuilt. So it's just a hassle to try to cook out here when we have all this mess going on. I know it looks bad right now, but once they get it all cleaned up and finished up, it's gonna look a whole lot better, but that's why we're filming inside today, again. So the missus is using that Texas Best brisket rub hot on mine, because I want some kick to mine. I'm gonna add some more kick to mine here in a little bit. You want more? No, that's good. Just flip it over to the other side. These babies are huge. I didn't even see how much they weighed, but they're big. It's like two patties combined to one. Yeah, that's good. And then, of course, she's gonna use her. It's incredible. I have to open it. This is one of Michael uh, Petrie over at uh, Heaven Made Products and just for her. Thank you, Mr. Petrie. Hear that, Michael? This is just gonna be a little simple dinner, nothing big. Simple burgers are good. You don't need to deck them out. That's it. We're going to get them in the, uh, we're going to use a cast iron skillet. Um, got to get some oil in there. In the pan. Put some oil in the pan, woman. That's right. So, no, some oil in the pan. This is woman, I swear. Anywho, mm -mm. the burgers. Looking good. That is incredible. Actually, it smells really good. So. That's that. While the missus gets some oil, just so you know, we're gonna cook these in the cast iron skillet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna also chop up. Um, I'm gonna have to get pepper over here. I'm gonna chop up a serrano pepper. I'm gonna grill this and put this on top of my burger because I want some heat. I want this bad boy to be hot. So the mist doesn't care for hot, so we're not gonna make hers hot. So let me get these burgers in here. And we'll just let them go for a few minutes on each side. We'll flip them over and let them go for a few minutes on the other side. And uh we'll pick back up once they're done. Prime one brisket burgers. Could be good. We'll see. 
All right, so this has been going for, I don't know, four or five minutes on this side. I'm gonna give them a flip. <clears throat> nice part, a nice crust. So, and then this pan, <clears throat> I'm gonna put the jalapeno on there, I mean, that's around on there. Mm -mm. Woo! We're gonna add a serrano pepper, which kind of grill this up. I'm gonna put this on top of my burger. I'll tell you what, this is one hot serrano pepper. Uh, after cutting this up, I lick my fingers, and my mouth is burning. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> so we're gonna saute this. I'm gonna put it. On top of my uh, Texas Best brisket rub hot. And uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a hot burger, baby. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a hot burger, but I love the heat, so. <clears throat> once these are done, when once these are done, we'll probably top it with some American cheese, make a burger, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe mm -hmm. I'll get the wife to do a taste test. What do you think? Maybe. I gotta put the buns on there. Gotta cook the buns. Yeah, I know. Anyway, last time I did a, a video with the wife, you guys seemed to enjoy it. An off the cuff video. Thank you. Which, this is another one. <clears throat> I really wasn't planning on filming this again. But, um. Well, I wasn't planning on filming at all, honestly. But. You guys seem to enjoy it last time, so <clears throat> maybe I'll do more of these videos at least once a week with the missus kind of semi in it. So <laughs> we're gonna let this get done cooking. We'll pick back up in a bit and uh, give these bad boys a taste. Hi, you guys. So here's the missus, and uh, <clears throat> really quickly, just want to do a, a, a quick little video about that. It's incredible rub. So why do you like the It's Incredible Rub? I like it because it's not just a rub for like your competition. It's an all-purpose seasoning. I roasted vegetables. I roasted some broccoli and cauliflower in the oven. Seasoned it with a little olive oil and then used the It's Incredible. It was amazing. I use it on everything. I haven't used it on eggs yet, which I kind of want to do. But I put it, yes, yeah. I put it on everything. She's like that Frank's Red Hot commercial that old lady is like I put that shit on everything <laughs> it's awesome it's great it's got everything you need it's got the garlic it's got the onion it's got the celery pot I mean it's got everything it's yeah. really good all right so you guys heard it yourself and like <laughs> she she truly loves this rub you I guys do. I'm I not really I'm do. not like I didn't put her up to this no uh, <laughs> anytime we we're, we're cooking anything she's wanted to use it's incredible. I don't even use his SPG anymore. What, did I tell you guys that last time? I, I don't. Like, I told you by SPG, I thought it was perfect. And that was like the one thing that we would use to season mm -hmm. everything. everything. And now, she it's, doesn't even touch it. It's, mm -hmm. it's, incredible. it's incredible. So, you guys, <laughs> go get some of that It's Incredible. I'm telling you, you heard it from the missus herself. And again, I didn't put her up to this. Uh, I mean, I, you know, I talked to her about being okay with being in the video. But she truly, truly likes this rub. I think many of you folks who uh, who are looking for a seasoning that's just amazing around the house um, would really like this mm -hmm. rub. I gave some to a coworker, and uh, <clears throat> you know, I've I'm talked sure. about it with my coworkers. There's one one of my coworker friends. She doesn't really cook a lot, so she doesn't know what seasonings to use. And I was like, if you had the, it's incredible. You would use it on everything, and it would come out perfect. It would taste perfect. You don't need to add salt, nothing. For people who are watching their salt intake, it's it's wonderful. All right, so, so you guys, got, you guys got it for the business herself. Again, I did. I didn't tell her to like say any of that stuff. That's that's truly, truly, truly uh, how she feels about the rub, and I, I can't disagree with her. You know, it's. It's called It's Incredible for a reason. And when I when I talked to Michael <clears throat> Petrie over at uh, Heaven Made Products, the way that he came up with his name is that when he gave this rub out to people to try out, they all said the same thing. It's incredible. 
So it's not just my wife saying it. It's not just my uh, me saying it. It's you have a, a number of people who have tried this rub, and so that's incredible. You guys, you got to go out and get some. I'll put the link below to his website where you can get some. Remember to use at the checkout promo code AC20. You get 20% off. Again, I don't get anything from this at all, but <clears throat> the rub is that good that I just have to share it with you guys. So you saw it. Anyway, we're going to get these burgers finished up, and... Um, we're gonna get to eating. <laughs> this should be good. All right, these bad boys are just about done. We're gonna cheese them up. I got my serrano pepper here that the mess is gonna put on top of my burger. Just to give it that extra kick that I love. <laughs> I love me some cheese, y'all. It's gonna be a big kick. Hers is done. She got some cheese on hers. We're gonna put some cheese on mine, but I'm gonna put those Toronto peppers on first. That's good. Let me put it over here. Put it on. Put some cheese on top. Let that melt up. And then we'll uh, get to fixing our burgers. We are going to, um, once we pull these burgers off, I think she's going to take these buns here. And we're just going to put them. Right on here, just kind of fry them up a little bit. You can use butter, mm -hmm. but we're going to use the grease from the burgers itself. It should have enough flavor in there. It gives it all the flavor. It gives it a good crust. And the drippings, oh, they make it amazing. Yeah, you heard her. So we're going to pull these off in just a second. We'll get these buns on here. We'll put them on uh, just for a couple of seconds on each side. And uh, get them off, and then we'll get to making these burgers. So, we'll let them fry up for just uh, probably about, I don't know, a minute or two on each side. Yeah, because they got to get really toasty. I, well, I like mine really toasty. So, the meat is done, the burgers are done. We got some cheese on them, put them off to the side. We're going to let them sit. We're going to toast these buns up just a bit. And then uh, you know, we're going to keep them pretty simple. You know, I think I'm just going to top it with a little bit of pickles and um, mayonnaise and ketchup. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you want to put like lettuce, tomatoes, and all that goodness on there. You, you know, you can definitely do that. We're just keeping it very simple tonight. It's an easy, laid back kind of cook night. So, that's those. The buns are over there. That cheese will melt as they sit. And uh, we'll flip these over in just a second and kind of get some seasonings and some uh, some frying on the on the top side of these buns and bottom side. So that's what they look like. That's goodness right there. All right, here's the burger. And all I did, I just topped it with some pickles uh, and mayo and ketchup. I kept it really, really simple. Of course, it has the cheese. It has the uh, serrano peppers, the saute serrano peppers, and the Texas Best Brisket Rub hot. So this should have a little kick. We're going to give it a bite. It definitely has some heat, but it's perfect. It's not as hot <clears throat> as I thought it would be. There's a little sweetness. Uh, Michael's uh, Texas Best Brisket Rub actually has a little sweetness to it. So I definitely picked that up. I definitely picked uh, <clears throat> the heat up a little bit, but again, it isn't overpowering. Even with the serrano pepper, it isn't overpowering. It's good. Anyway, you guys, I will leave a link below to uh, his website. You got to go get you some of these rubs. You heard the missus talk about the uh, it's incredible. 
Don't take my word for it. Take her word for it. It's good. We're going to eat. We will see you guys next time, you guys. Take care. Again, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I truly, truly appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Take care.